Mukal glasses. This is my haul. This is what I got. Uh, is it worth it? Uh, I'm going to tell you guys now. So I uh, got tired of uh, getting ripped off the optometrist and having like <laughs> those people like just charge me like $500 for a pair of glasses, like a single vision pair of glasses. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a lower, like a very strong prescription. So I understand high index and all that stuff. But you can't tell me that like, you know, all these glasses are made overseas. They're all like made like the same way. Like there's really like very few options if you don't want to like pay for like overseas. I don't know who's working in those factories. But now I'm saying is like, there's no reason why these people should be charging me like five times what these things are worth or more. Okay. So a long time ago, I went to Zenny Optical, but Zenny kind of got a little too big for their britches, I think. They, they were awesome for a while. They had like $19 pairs of glasses and they'll do like sometimes specials once in a while. But like, I just found this new place called Mukal, M-U-U-K-A-L and, uh, you know, .com. And uh, they have like really cool looking frames too. That's the other thing. Like these are Zennies, okay? And these are like some of the coolest frames I could find on Zenny. I mean, they're awesome. They're blue and they're like, you know, rimless at the bottom. And they did that even though I have a really high index. But are they the coolest glasses you've ever seen? No. I mean, they're cool, but they're not like crazy. Here's another pair. These are like, uh, I think these are like the progressives. But like, you know, there's they're nothing special. These actually are really hard metal, like sharp metal kind of dig into my uh side of my head these are nice they're plastic acetate rather and uh so they're very comfortable but i needed i thought i lost my sunglasses and so i wanted a new pair and mukal was running this special so it was like buy one get one and they had like the frames the were real cheap the lenses were real cheap like the frames like expensive frames were like 25 dollars uh, the lenses they were having the deal. So like a whole complete pair, literally a complete pair, not like buy one frame, get another and you know, for free. And then you have to pay for the lenses. It was the whole thing. So I bought eight <laughs> sets of glasses and they come in a, like a nondescript little box, you know, like this and you know, in the mail, U S mail. And I bought them on black Friday and they came two weeks later. And I've been meaning to do this video, but I just haven't got around to it. There's been other videos I need to make. Anyway, um, so what they do is they come in a sleeve like this, and then you have a picture of the frame up here, and then you have all your like information down here with your prescription, and they come with a cloth. So they come wrapped in a cloth in here, and then, and that's it. So you don't get like the little cheap plastic like case that you that I got the last time I ordered these from Zenny. Um, you don't get like a, a fake leather case or something like that. But what you do get is I got eight pairs of glasses for less than I would have paid at Lens Crafters for one pair. I went to Lens Crafters because I just got uh, insurance, uh, optical insurance, which I haven't had in ages. I always paid out of pocket. And um, Anyway, they were going to charge me like three, four hundred dollars for a simple pair of glasses. And, uh, and you know, it's ridiculous. So, uh, the, and these actually, so let me just show you what I got. So, so these, well, I want to show you for a couple of reasons. So these are, uh, the lenses are, you know, high index, but look, they're not that thick. And then, uh, well, the glass, the, they're thick. The, the, um, you can see this is, this part of the frame is thick. Um, and they're non glare and they're, uh, oleophobic, right? Which means that you shouldn't get smudges on them. So I got that because that was only like four ninety five extra. And like, so I got these and then I get another one, uh, for free. So I ended up getting like three, I got, uh, four pairs and then I was like, nah, I'm getting four more. And, uh, it ended up being one order was like $96 and the other order was like a hundred and some dollar like 110 dollars or 103 dollars so 200 bucks basically i got eight pairs of glasses instead of paying for one pair of glasses for like 350 400. now here's the thing though these these frames 
in New Call's defense, were under like a category. They had large, medium, small, very large. These are large. So just so you guys know when you order them, my pupillary distance is 58, which means it's 29 millimeters from here to my, the middle of my pupil and also on the other side. Exactly 29, uh, actually 29.5. But uh, so it's, so when you order glasses, when you get your prescription from a doctor, make sure you get the pupillary distance and they'll give it to you. And if they don't give it to you, stop going to that optometrist because you're paying for your eye exam. You're paying for your prescription. They, sh they, sh they should give it to you. They shouldn't hold it hostage like they did at a couple of the places I used to go to. But um, anyway, we can talk about that. In a whole, that's a whole other segment. But what I really liked about it, I was getting sunglasses. And <clears throat> so these frames are big. They're too big for my face. But that's like the style now, I guess, for the last 15 years, everybody's wearing these gigantic, like Elton John, like 1970s crocodile rock kind of glasses. So I guess, uh, you know, I am now too. Uh, but, and look at these. So these are like way too large for my face. <laughs> like some out of a 1970s movie, like, you know, like <clears throat> castles in the air and a sailplane or something like that. With, if you guys don't get that reference, go ahead and uh, put that in the comments. But what I do find these will be useful for are, I'll use, I'm probably not going to wear them out of the house, but I'll use them on the computer because I can see, and I might even use them to shoot pool because I could, they've got big lenses and I can see over top of them. But like, that was pretty, those were pretty wild. So next time I order, I'm going to look for medium frames. I'm really going to pay attention to that. But they do give you all the dimensions on the website. But here's the cool thing. So what Zenny will do is they'll they'll give you tinted lenses for an extra like seven dollars. Uh, on this website, on Moo Call's website, they'll give you extra they'll give you tinted lenses for an extra five bucks. But one of the types of uh, tint that they don't have on Zenny is they have gradated gradiated a uh, gradient tint in two different colors. So if you could see this at the top. These are blue tint, and at the bottom, they're green, which is really awesome because nobody, very few people, I think, are ever going to have this type of lens <clears throat> that I know because people used to freak out when I just wore my blue lenses from uh, Zenny, and they're like, oh, my God, are those prescription? Those are so cool, blue lenses. I'm like, yeah, the skies are blue for me all day long. Now... The sky is blue and the grass is green for me all day long. So how about that? So that's pretty cool. And then I did it again with these. These are actually more like women's frames, but it kind of got the cat eye thing going on. But I thought, yeah, I'll be a, try to do the Hollywood movie star kind of thing. And these are actually purple on top and red on the bottom. So what do you think about that? Looks like I just stole them off of Audrey Hepburn's uh, desk, you know. Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's reference, if you guys get it. So like I said, I was after uh, um, sunglasses. So I showed you the two non-sunglasses that I got. And I'll probably get some smaller ones the next time they have a sale. But here's the other thing, though. <clears throat> Mukal always seems to have this deal, which is three pairs, complete pairs, for $119. And that's all the time. The, the deal I got was a Black Friday sale. But, and that was buy one, get one free, but three pairs for $119. These I wore the other day, <sighs> actually yesterday, and I really like them. And uh, they definitely turned some heads. They kind of got like almost a teardrop shape going on here. And you can see they're slightly reflective in this light, but they're blue lenses. So you can see the blue. Now they're not the darkest blue, which is good. Like you can walk into a store and still like read stuff like labels and things like that. No problem. I walked all the way through Target. Target's brightly lit. I went through um, Five Below yesterday and, uh, you know, Giant Eagle. No problems. Now, now here's this. Now I went a little overboard. Why did I buy a pair? I went a little overboard because I saw these. And these reminded me of a pair of glasses that I bought at Spirit, uh, the Halloween store. 
uh, just steampunk glasses. But they, but those at Spirit had this thing on the side where, like, it was kind of like a like an eye cup, like protector thing, which you fold out, which is kind of cool. And I thought, and that's the reason I I, I even found uh, Moo Call was because I was thinking about getting prescription lenses put in those frames. But these are like the identical frames. Actually, here they are. So here's the ones I bought at Spirit, right? And here are the ones I got from Mucol. They're almost identical, except the Spirit ones, these were 10 bucks at Spirit, by the way. They're not prescription, obviously. They fold out like this, but then the lenses fold up. So it's very like cyberpunk looking, you know, or I mean, um, steampunk looking, right? And the only thing with these is you can't fold these down until you rotate these back in and then you can fold them down. So they're a little bulky, but they're, I mean, they're designed for a costume. But these you could actually wear because when you wear them outside, right? You got your lenses down and when you go inside, you can go like that. So how cool is that? Now I'm not saying like round glasses are the best shape for my face. They're probably not, but I just thought these were super cool. And the thing was, I had to buy two more because they came in like silver, gold, and black. And so, here, I'll show you the black. That, to me, looks like something out of the Matrix. When I wear these, I feel like I'm uh, Morpheus, right? Neo, I will show you how far down the rabbit hole goes. Are you ready to experience the Matrix? Are you ready, Neo? So, um, I don't know, I kind of like these. And then you can play pirate, you can have like an eye patch. Uh, so these are cool, but okay, so my one complaint, my one complaint is these. Okay, so these are silver with like kind of a very light blue tint, okay? And they came automatically tinted, like you didn't get a choice of tint. Same with these, these were black, right? These were, these were black, so. Um, but the other ones, you got a choice of color. So these blue ones, I got to choose. So you can get these in red, you can get these in green, you can get them in all kinds of crazy colors. So let me put on another a normal pair of glasses while I show you this. You can probably already see what my complaint is. This right um, sunglass cover lens is, is, it's on here very loosely. And I thought, no big deal. I'll just try, I'll just tighten it up. But if you can see this <clears throat> right here, no screwdriver will fit in here. The screw is so small. And the screw looks like it's stripped. So I need to go somewhere and have somebody take a look at this, like an eyeglass store or something, and give them a couple bucks to, like, fix this. Or go to the hardware store and find a very, very sharp needle nose. I'm sorry, a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. But, like, it's stripped. So I don't think... I don't think anybody's gonna be able to do anything with this. So this one might be a goner, but you know, it was like 20, this was one of the freebies, but like it was like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, so if I had only received this pair, I probably wouldn't be too happy, but because it was only one out of eight pairs that was like that, and this one's actually a little loose too, but this screw's not stripped, so I should be able to tighten that up. <clears throat> I probably would have been a little bit more, you know, less enthusiastic about this website. But they have some really cool shades, like really cool designs. And you can make anything into shades. <clears throat> these aren't normally. You can get these like regular. I think it'd be pretty cool to walk around with these frames like untinted. But they definitely look cool tinted, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to like give a shout out to Moo Call because they're the new Zenny. What Zenny was 20 years ago is what Moo Call is now. And uh, thank goodness, because it's a crime what we're getting charged for eyewear. Like, it's a crime. There's a place here in town my wife went to. I don't know how she does this. $700 for a pair of glasses. They talked her into it. And they're nice, but like, they're... What pair of glasses are worth $700? You know, are they going to do my taxes? Anyway, um, I got on way too long. So I'm going to let you guys go. 
I hope you have a great day. Check out Mood Call. I don't work for them. I don't have an affiliate link with them or anything like that. I do have affiliate links with Amazon. I am an Amazon influencer. If you want to go down there and click on something and buy, if you click through that and buy anything you're going to buy anyway on Amazon, I might make a dollar or two. So um, that would be cool. And of course, liking the video helps me with YouTube. So have a great day. Comments, I answer them all unless they're offensive. And then I delete them. So I'll see you on the next one. Take care.